Hey, beauty community, get your shit together, okay? Stop worrying about sipping tea and stop saying you've got receipts. Just put makeup on your face. That's what people want. And to all those commentary channels out there, mm, 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 you got some splaining to do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my LinkedIn page. So happy you could join us again. Now it appears that we are finally, finally at the end of the road with this whole James Charles Tati oh. awful situation. It appears that this has actually gone on longer than Game of Thrones Season 8. And some people would say it's been even more entertaining than Game of Thrones Season 8. So a week after James Charles was cancelled by the entire internet just based on one video and a whole bunch of fabricated evidence, we finally got James Charles' thought out orchestrated response. And as a basic summary, this video pretty much just debunked every claim that Tati made against James Charles. He had the receipts and it pretty much showed that what she said in the video that made him the number one most wanted man on the internet for some reason it pretty much showed that a lot of that was not 100 percent factual and it turns out that tati may have actually lied for most of it because she was upset that james charles signed a little thing saying that he would do a promo piece for some vitamin company because they helped him out at coachella and oh my god who actually cares turns out james charles really was not that bad of a person like that whole sexual predator thing that was disproven um the the whole thing with the kid in the high school that was proven as fake uh, all the dms that were photoshopped fake and so then what were we actually left with why were we actually angry at james charles to begin with now tati in her video responding to her previous video she said she didn't want this whole situation to get to where it was at. She didn't want James Charles to be hated on. She wanted people to stop canceling him. She just wanted the whole thing to be over. Uh, uh, uh. First of all, if you really did have that big of a problem, and if you really do love James Charles like you said, you wouldn't post a video online that was 40 minutes long, filled with ads, telling everyone that he is a predator and that he's the worst person in the world. If that's actually what you intended, you went about it the worst way you absolutely could. And the fact that you say that you love him and you didn't want any of this to happen, I don't believe that for a second. If that's truly what you meant, if that's truly what you intended, you would not have thrown out this half-baked story with little to no evidence attached to it. Now, there were a few people in this whole situation that were on the fence. They did not want to cancel James Charles. They said the evidence is not there. The two people that represented this very neutral ground were uh, the garden gnome Keemstar and that guy that once had more subs than T-Series, but now, I don't know, just dropped off the map completely, really. They were the two vocal minorities that said, uh, I'm not going to cancel James Charles because it doesn't really seem like there's a whole lot here. Sure, we've got allegations. Sure, we've got people saying this and saying that. But is there actual evidence attached to it? Not quite. And as the situation slowly went on, all of this evidence was revealed to be BS and it just appeared that this whole situation was a hit piece towards James Charles and um, well it did its job for most of it but now the tables have turned where James Charles is now gaining back some of the subs that he lost and Tati and Jeffree Star who we're going to get to are slowly losing subs as well. So the whole thing was just an, a massive knee jerk overreaction from people that are uninformed that just wanted an excuse to take a famous celebrity down that's all it is that's what cancel culture is nowadays people just have this mindset they have this idea that if people have done something wrong they need to get in there and they need to take care of business themselves and they need to cancel people doesn't matter if all the facts are there doesn't matter if they know the whole story none of that matters to these people all they want to do is cancel 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 like they're working in the tv industry and they're seeing the ratings and they're saying hmm well, some of these shows have to go. This is not really making us money. The ratings are terrible. We need to cancel some shows. If you want to cancel stuff, cancel your Netflix subscription, okay? Who are you to say that you are the person that holds people's careers in your hands? You are nobody. You don't get to cancel anyone. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, 
I think you people need to be cancelled. You bought into a situation that was so cloudy and was so void of facts. Now that we have the facts, now it makes you guys look like absolute gumps. Like I said, you need to sit back and you need to wait for all the information to come out and then you can make an opinion, then you can pop off, then you can clap back, then you can do all that kind of cancelling stuff that you love to do. But until you know everything, how about you keep your mouth shut? That's kind of what I did and I'm so happy that I did that. And now it appears that all the main commentary channels that were very vocal against James Charles, like I'm Alex and Kavos, they all have finally come out and apologised. They've admitted what I just said. They didn't understand all the facts. They didn't know the full story, but now they have all the facts in front of them. Now they understand that this whole situation was just a complete joke. And hopefully they're not going to do stuff like this again, because if these commentary channels really do wait for everything to come out before voicing their opinion, if they do that, I really feel like that's going to temper the storm for future drama and scandals like this and people online are gonna do the same they're not going to hold such a strong opinion so early on based on literally nothing like getting in there first is great but if you're getting in there first with incorrect information it's gonna make you look so much worse i would rather be right than first every day of the week and that's why i don't do many videos because by the time i'm right uh no one cares so oh well oh man i'm getting fired up I need to take a little little hair break wow uh, I mentioned Jeffree Star before. Today he posted a video in response to everything that's happened. And uh, it was called Never Doing This Again. <laughs> yeah, I'm never staying up until four in the morning playing Apex Legends. That's what I tell myself every time. So to briefly summarize this Jeffree Star video, it appeared to be a massive act of backpedaling because he saw the online backlash, he saw that the story was slowly, slowly developing and everything that was being claimed against James Charles wasn't actually true, or if it is true, there's literally no evidence to support it. So Jeffree Star finally realized this, he understood what the drama was doing to the community and his friendships and all that, and he pretty much said, hey, I'm done. I'm not going to be talking about this anymore. Do I have receipts? Do I have things that will prove James Charles to be a predator? Uh, I'm not going to say that I have them. I'm not going to say I don't, but I'm just going to just draw it there and I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to think about me. I'm going to get away from the drama and that's that. So he pretty much admitted defeat on this issue because he understood that he didn't really have anything and he understood it's a losing battle and it, the drama is just so pointless it's not worth it so he decided it's time to just get away from it all go back to doing what i love doing which is doing makeup and drinking red bull and playing with these dogs and doing that stuff and that's literally that's that's it that's it that's that's all he's gonna address that's all we're gonna hear from him in regards to the situation forever. And he pretty much said that the old Jeffree Star came out in this whole saga and he said he's just really disappointed with the way he acted and the way the whole situation unfolded and now he just wants to take a break, move on. Also in this video, he apologized to James Charles' brother Ian for bringing him into this drama. Again, he admitted that he popped off for the wrong reason. He didn't understand what was happening. He got up at Ian Jeffrey for the wrong reason and he totally acknowledged that that was false and he should not have done that and he apologized, which is good. As much as I feel like it was backpedaling and as much as I feel like it was Jeffree Star kind of taking the easy way out, I do respect the fact that he did apologize to Ian Jeffrey, who literally did nothing. He's just a guy and he posted a tweet that was taken the wrong way and then Again, he's public enemy number two. So I do appreciate the fact that he did apologize for that. He acknowledged that that was wrong. And he acknowledges that the whole situation was just a mess. And he's never going to do stuff like that again. Um, one interesting thing, I don't think he actually apologized to James Charles directly. I think at some points he did say, James, uh, I, I, I regret that this got to this point. Um, you know, we can always talk and make things up, but I don't actually think he said the words, sorry. <laughs> mm, is that going to come? Oh, no, no, he's not going to talk about it anymore. So, uh, is that a rat move? Kind of, but then again, it does take a big person to come out and admit that you are wrong. And that's what this video was. He said, I'm wrong. 
None of this should have happened. Never going to happen again. So uh, as a Jeffree Star fan, I do appreciate what he did. I also uh, acknowledge the fact that his role in this whole thing was totally pointless. It just seemed like he was there to create more drama and make things literally worse and worse and worse. And every time that he would tweet about the situation, that's just more people ganging on James Charles to the point where it was literally a two-on-one handicap match. It was WWE style, but actually it was like three million on one. And that's, that's just not fair odds. I mean, I'm all for a destructive handicap match, but having that many people against one person who is just on the defense from the get-go, not able to get in any words, not able to defend himself, that's kind of messed up. But now, hopefully this situation has come to an end. Absolutely crazy that it has gone on for this long and just the amount of lies and deception and everything that has gone into it. Oh my God, it's juicy drama, no doubt about that. But I think it's time that we all need to just take a little step back. We need to acknowledge that cancel culture is broken there is no structure to it people need to stop getting so headstrong and leaping in there without knowing things before they cancel people people if they do bad stuff should be canceled yes people if they do stuff but there's no evidence supporting what they did we shouldn't be cancelling people it's that simple only cancel people if all the facts are there there's testimonials there is witnesses there's all that stuff if those things are there and we have the power to cancel people should we do it maybe if they deserve it if not don't do it simple you people out there you know who you are i'm looking at you right now and you are the people that caused this situation you people should take a long hard look at yourself you should say sorry to james charles and the drama channels and the commentary channels that got in on this and went so hard for James Charles that they wanted his career to end. You people out there need to say sorry as well because you caused this situation equally as much as that deceptive Tati did as well. So you people really need to take a long, hard look at yourself. You people need to realize that what you did is literally the cause of this whole thing. And this kind of stuff has to stop and cannot happen again because it is stupid. It is so stupid. It made everybody look like an absolute fool. It made the commentary channels look like idiots. It made the drama channels who got so fired up about this, made them look so dumb. And it really just made the whole online community and the YouTube community look like absolute fools because people were saying James Charles is cancelled. James Charles is a predator with literally no credible evidence. And the fact that that happened on such a wide scale, it's pretty scary. And uh, if we can prevent that from happening, that's great. But the fact that it did happen, oh my God, what hope is there for anybody else? If you've ever said anything stupid in your life before, you better watch out because we're coming for you next. I say we, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't do anything. But those people are going to come for you. You better make sure like Jeffree Star did, you go through and delete all those controversial tweets from 10 years ago because you never know when they're going to come up. You never know when somebody has an agenda against you and you never know when someone's going to cancel you. So overall, the whole situation was a complete mess. Cancel culture needs to go. There is no stress structure to it. It is a completely broken concept. Commentary channels, YouTube channels, anybody that was so vitriolic towards James Charles, you people really need to say sorry and you need to seriously, seriously assess your own behavior in this whole situation. Being first is not always the best. Being right always is the best. Let's call this the last video that I'm going to do on this situation and I can finally go back to making fun of stupid Instagram accounts and idiots doing stupid things online. So ladies and gentlemen that is the end of this video if you did stick with me until the end. Tell me what you think about the whole situation. Uh, if you are new to the channel make sure you sub as well like the video, share it with your friends do all that kind of stuff. We'll see you again soon with a very fun happy-go-lucky video where I laugh at stuff and hopefully you can laugh at it too. So until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.